by the looks of it. <laughs> Nobody's here. <laughs> Perfect. We're gonna sleep right on the ocean. Check out this campsite. On the river. Stuck because you're late. Look, an outhouse. And two down here on the ocean. Yeah, baby. Ooh, they actually put Dexter Roy on it. Hmm. He decided down by the river, overlooking the ocean. Right, dude? Jose's a special burgers. Pork and chow mein. Yeah. Good morning, YouTube. Uh, it's Brent from Brent's Van Life, and uh, we're at Arden Creek Wreck Site. <laughs> and the tide is in. Look at that for beachfront property. We arrived here ah, mid-afternoon, late afternoon, 3, 4 o'clock. We we're the only people here, and the tide was out. This is actually just a creek with lots of rocks in it. But since the Alberti Inlet is part of the ocean, the tide is in, and it's filled up our bay, and it makes it look pretty spectacular, I must say. And this is a drift, drifting log just floating in our front yard. You'd like to launch a boat right from here and go salmon fishing. We didn't even light a fire last night. <laughs> and by the way, this is all leftover wood from previous campers. They just leave it here for you to use. So no stacks of it, but oh, look at that. I can't get over that. It's coffee time. Hi. How are you? Uh, say bon. <laughs> well. <laughs> Let's see. Quite amazing what a couple hours will look when you're at the mouth of a river going into the ocean, hey? Eh? It dropped a good, oh God, five feet maybe in the river here. Now we have fresh water flowing out, but that was all salt water coming into it, so. Kind of cool, eh? Good morning, YouTube. It's early. We're going to get everything wrapped up here this morning. We're in Arden Creek. And we're heading to Port Alberni. We're out of coffee. And especially cream. <laughs> and we're, our supplies are running low. We've been on the road. This is... Uh, Night eight, day nine, in the woods. Are you ready to go back to civilization? Huh? You think so? I'm just finishing off my last uh, Keurig K-cup. And then um, I'll put it into gear and we'll start uh, getting things cleaned up, put away. Uh, Jose is still sleeping, and the dude literally just jumped out of bed. Okay, let me uh, make this happen. Oh. Let's 
So this is the little barge you can take. It goes all the way up the inlet till you kill it. And it um, stops at all the little ports along the way where there's new communities being made. It's cool, eh? Okay. We're going to say goodbye to Arden Creek. And hello to the next darn Tim Hortons we see. <laughs> yeah. Let's get out of here. That is Port Alberni way down there. So majestic, eh? <laughs> How's this for a cute little free campsite for you? Your very own campsite? With a fireplace, nice level parking, shrubbery, it's beautiful. And check out this view. You can actually walk, if you can walk on logs out there to go salmon fishing, maybe some cod, who knows, right? I'm not too sure. It's gorgeous, eh? There's a bit of logs out here in BC. As far as the eye can see. And these are just the dead ones that have been cut down. <laughs> a log storage area along the uh, Port Alberni Canal. Okay, back on the road. In 600 meters, turn left onto 3rd Street, Shoemaker Bay Road. I believe that the other... Head west on Sterling Arm Road toward Trail Pit Road. Continue on Sterling Arm Road for 2 kilometers. As I was saying, I believe that the Google reference going that way goes through reserve land. And they shut that down a number of years ago. They shut down when I was going out there 8 years ago, 7 years ago. This is the new way in. Watch for signs. <laughs> Look at that. Civilization. Just like that, we are on pavement for the first time in over a week. Tim Hortons, here we come. <laughs> uh, still gorgeous. Well, we're back. This is the famous orange bridge that they painted silver. <laughs> and this is road into Port Alberni. Well, after a great meal at Smitty's once again, we are in Port Alberni and to head back to Nanaimo. See you when we get there. We're 
we're back in civilization. It's time to get clean clothes. Okay, we had to do a quick run over here to pick up some Chinese food from the quality food because, you know, doing laundry is very, very, uh, takes it all of you. Heading back over to the laundromat. Oh, look, what's up? I'll have to get Jose to come over and give me a hand. here thank you what you doing checking out Ian Zambo nice what a mess but it's clean let's go check out Ian's Ambo I like that better than uh, it come along. Jose's getting a little tour of Ian's little Ambo life. Ian and Susan said. Oh, sorry, Susan. <laughs> fire extinguishers everywhere because we do cook in here. And so we have to have the fire extinguisher. She cooks here. Okay. And that's pretty good, good, eh? Right here guys. is the pan. Oh. You know they're an old married couple when there's two beds. Two beds. I run into Ian quite often and his wife Susan uh, down here at the laundromat. Welcome to Ambo Life. Back at the compound. <laughs> the dude's like, let me out, Dad, let me out. Jose is going to go fill up with water and get things ready for tomorrow. And I forgot to take my medication this morning, so I'm beat up. I'm exhausted. I need to put my laundry away. Ugh. Hi, dude. Hi, dude. <laughs> Lights on. That was definitely a chore. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, we got all the laundry done and put away and then I got a phone call from my friend Damiano. Uh, he's the guy from um, uh, Italy who uh, flew to Argentina. Hitchhiked all the way up to Chile. He bought himself a Volkswagen van and ended up here in Nanaimo. So I've been trying to help him out, introduce him to Volkswagen people and so this. He says, Brent, come out for a beer. And I went, sure. There he is showing me the lime lights of uh, Nanaimo. Uh, we had a beer and uh, he says, 
I found this Italian restaurant. You have to come with me and we'll check out their pizza. <laughs> so he said, uh, let's go to this Italian restaurant and uh, I'm going to take you to it and um, I'm going to go try out some pizza. Okay, let's go. This better be good. I'm putting, you know, everything on you being the Italian dude. You can't just go out with a fucking t-shirt, man. I'm what? Are <laughs> you freezing? <laughs> So this place looks like a true Italian type restaurant and damn the pizza looks amazing. I'm having a pretty good evening because it's really nice to be back in civilization and actually conversing with people I don't even know. Um, Damiano is, uh, has quite a lot of great stories. We are going to do a little expose on him in the very near future. Uh, but in the mean, in the in between time, we're just kind of hanging out and getting to know one another. So I'll show you my meal, and uh, yeah, we're gonna end this video fairly quickly. But check out what we order. Check out that pizza oven. Wow. Oh my. Oh. Oh. It's delicioso. That's the only French I know. I think it's Italian. <laughs> So uh, Damiano tells me, he says, when you see the little bubbles like this in your crust, he says, that tells you that that, that is good pizza and good dough. Look at this thing. It doesn't look like mush, but the flavors, oh my God, they are exploding in my mouth. It is amazing. Uh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We are in the old city quarter, uh, downtown Nanaimo, and that was the most amazing pizza I've had in a long time. What do you think there, Damiano? Is it Damiano or Damiano? Damiano. Damiano. I was right. Yeah, okay. but no one told me that way unless my mom when she's pissed. Oh, so it's Damo? Damo. Damo. Okay. See, we're still becoming friends. Anyways, <laughs> we're out of here. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's been amazing, and we'll see you soon. She's like, my, my hat. <laughs>